to put a point light in the scene, the first thing to do is go to the visualization tool set, click on the light tool, and then up in the toolbar, click on the point light mode to select the point light. Now you can see that the cursor has changed to a small crosshairs that's indicating that the that the tool is now active and we'll just go into the scene and click once to place a light. And there's our point light. Now in the object info palette you'll notice that the height of the of the light, the Z height is zero, and uh, that is because by default it will place it at a zero height or the floor. We can switch to a side view and we can see how the light has been located there at the zero height. So let's go to the object info palette and raise it to a height that works better. So let's say 2800 millimeters, and that brings us up closer to the ceiling. And we can see in the object info palette now all the settings for this point light. Right now we have cast shadows, but not soft shadows. I'll talk about that in a second. And we can leave the rest of the settings as they are. Let's go to the first saved view, saved view one. And uh, now we'll render in final quality render works to see the impact of this light. So you see we left the light selected and that's why we see the marker around it. Notice in the object info palette, the distance fall off drop down box is set to none. There are two other settings, smooth and realistic. With smooth, the strength of the light falls off in a linear way from where the light is located. And with realistic, it's actually a more complicated formula, but it's much closer to the way it looks in real life. So let's switch to smooth. And now let's switch to realistic. And we can see the difference between these two fall off settings quite clearly. Let's go back to none for a minute. And we're going to select the soft shadows checkbox to see the impact that this setting has. But first let me switch to a closer up view and uh, this is right now is rendered in OpenGL, but let's render it in Final Quality RenderWorks. And you can see that without soft shadow selected, the shadows are pretty hard edged all the way down and up to the farthest point away from the object that's casting the shadows. But if we select soft shadows, we can see how the shadows become softer as they move away from the object that's casting the shadow. And this makes the shadow and the general appearance of the rendering much more realistic.